Welcome back to Infigam friends. Today in this video, we are having another challenging question from exponential equations. It is square root 44 plus square root 144 raised to the power x equal to x square. We have to find out all real solutions. So let's get started by writing our equation as square root 44 plus square root 144 power is x equal to x square. Now I will raise both sides power half. So I will be writing power half this side and I need to write power half this side also. Now I will introduce one exponent law a power b whole power c it is equal to a power b times c further we can write a power c whole power b. So here we will switch the exponents these two will be switched and here I will take the product in the exponents. So we can write LHS as square root 44 plus square root 144 power is half and then we will write power x and right hand side it would be x power 2 times half which is equal to x these two will be over now I will write in this manner square root of square root 44 plus square root 144 and whole power is x right hand side is x. This is our simplified exponential equation. Let's solve LHS base. So I will write square root of 44 plus square root of 144 this we will simplify first so i can write the square root of the square root 44 we can write 4 times 11 plus the square root 144 is 12 now i can write a square root 12 plus 4 times 11 now i can write 2 times 11 the square root 4 is 2 now I will split 12 as 11 plus 1 plus 2 root 11. So I can write equal to square root square root 11 whole square plus 1 whole square plus 2 times square root 11 times 1. So it is recalling one algebraic identity a plus b whole square formula. If I will presume this is a square, this is b square, then third term is twice a b. So I can write this is equal to square root, square root 11 plus 1 whole square. Now we can cancel square root and square. So ultimately our base is converting into square root 11 plus 1. This is our base. Now let us write our exponential equation once again. So it will become a square root 11 plus 1 whole power is x and right hand side is x. Let us take ln both sides. So I will write ln square root 11 plus 1 whole power x and right hand side is ln x. Now using exponent property we can take this exponent as a multiplier. Property is ln a power b it is equal to b ln a. Let's use so I will be writing x times ln square root 11 plus 1 equal to ln x. Now I will take x to the RHS. So I can write ln x over x equal to ln square root 11 plus 1. Now we know that x is equal to e raised to the power ln x. So here I will be writing in the denominator of LHS e raised to the power ln x. So let us write 
e raised to the power ln x equal to ln square root 11 plus 1. Now 1 over a power b, any time we can write a power minus b. So this will become ln x times e raised to the power minus ln x equal to ln square root 11 plus 1. Now I will write one result from lambda w function it is a times e raised to the power a it will be equal to a. So only minus sign is missing so I need to multiply with minus both sides. Now let's take lambda w function both sides. So I will be writing lambda w function of minus ln x times e raised to the power minus ln x equal to lambda w function of minus ln in bracket square root 11 plus 1. Now left hand side I will be writing minus ln x and right hand side it is lambda w function of minus ln square root 11 plus 1. So I can write our x value it would be equal to e raised to the power minus ln minus w it is and then it is the same minus ln square root 11 plus 1. So if you will resolve this or you will use the lambda w function then this value is coming out negative 0 0.485 only real value and let's talk about why it is generating only one. See this is the graph of x square parabola and this is the graph of I would say it is 18.63 12 plus 6.63. So this is the graph of 18.63 raised to the power x. This value is 12 plus 6.63, 18.63. Let's talk about gradient or slope. So if I will write here left hand side as 18.6 raised to the power x and right hand side if suppose it is x square and I am finding gradient for x negative. See left hand side the parabolic function is monotonic decreasing for x negative this is the interval where x is negative and this exponential function is monotonic increasing function so only single intersection will be there for x negative and see its value is negative 4.0.489 and if you will talk about x positive Let's check its gradient first. So for x negative, one function is monotonic increasing, another function is monotonic decreasing, single intersection, single solution. For x positive, if we will check, then 18.6 raised to the power x, its derivative gradient will be 18.6 raised to the power x times ln 18.6. And right hand side if you will check this is twice of x. Once x is positive the growth of exponential function is much much faster than the parabolic or you can say in terms of slope it is 2x. So it will only converting the twice of the gradient. So this intersection won't be possible for x positive because this would be rapid than the parabolic one. So our final answer becomes x is equal to, let me write here, minus 0 0.489 real solution. I hope this video will be meaningful to you. Do not forget friends to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself. Bye-bye.